Hello everyone, this video will be about installing embroiderware. Um, here we have the zip file of the trial that we'll open with a program called pzip. A pzip is a free program you can get online that allows you to extract zip files. Um, you can also pull generally from the Windows folder over the Windows can open zip files too generally. But in this case I use zip, pzip. So here we have the unzipped file. You notice this folder is full of a bunch of examples as well as the program itself. So to install the program, you double click Setup EXE. And it'll ask you to agree to the end user license agreement. You say, I agree. And you click the next button until you get this screen where it's waiting for your computer to pop up a screen to approve. So we'll just wait here a moment. Groove and embroiderware installs completely. It will put uh, some items in your start menu as well as a shortcut on your desktop. Starting the shortcut on the desktop will come up with this screen where it says welcome to embroiderware you need you're using an unlicensed trial version. Um, you have to get a trial license from the internet um, on the embroiderware webpage and you can go there just by clicking this button or going to Embroiderware itself, and there's a page that says uh, Request Trial License. So, I'll go to the Trial License Request page. And on this page, um, you basically enter your email address, and your name. Uh, your email address is, is the actual uh, part of the code that we use. We'll just use sales for our email. And then we'll do sales. So I'm just going to do sales at Embroidery, where you would put your actual email address in there. You click the CAPTCHA and you say submit. This will put a trial license request into embroiderware.com uh, and you'll receive a trial license key. In the meantime, you can just click, after you've done that, you can just click the OK button and you can start using Embroiderware before you trial license key. It's going to take you a while to familiarize yourself with the program by that time, you'll have the key. Uh, what the key does is it disables DS output. So if we were going to want to output our embroidery file, let's just say we have a simple sketch like this. Um, if we choose export to DST file, it'll say that you're still using an unlicensed version. But once you get your license, um, you will enter it into that first screen. I'll show you that. I'll show you actually going and getting your email and cutting and pasting your email into the license key screen. Once you get your license email, it'll look like this, where there will be a message from support and embroiderware, subject embroiderware license code, and I'll say um, that your license key is here. Now, the license key is kind of long, so the best way to actually do this is you want to copy the email. Um, just by using your clipboard. So just do control C once you select the text. And then when you go ahead and start Embroiderware, uh, everything is already on your clipboard. So all you do is say enter license key. And then there will be an option here where it says enter using email copy. You press that and it automatically puts your license key into the proper fields. After you've done that, you just say activate. And you notice that your embroiderware trial is now um, activated. And in this case, I just did it for one day trial. Your trial will be for three weeks. Um, and it says it's going to end on the 28th. After the 28th, uh, DST output will be disabled again. But right now, it's actually active and uh, brings up different social media icons that you can go to and see what embroiderware is doing on these various YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, 
and the website itself. But now everything is good to go and active. So you're basically finished. So now when you go ahead and hopefully by the time you get your key, you'll have some really interesting designs to stitch out. And um, so you can go ahead and stitch out the designs and well, you can actually go ahead and I'll put them to the DST file now. So if I say export to DST, it's going to give you the option to do that. So everything's good now.